okay so today we'll discuss about the business partner configuration okay so earlier if you remember that we created vendor masters we created the custom master records right okay so there is a separate transaction codes like xk01 mk01 fk01 xj01 right for the vendor master record and uh, custom master records we created so there is separate transaction codes for the custom master record and the separate transaction code for the vendor master record Anna? so but now in the s4 hana that is in the ecc you are using xk01 and mk01 fk01 but in s4 hana what happened okay uh sap which is giving that one single transaction code for the entire master data that is like uh, when the master record, custom master record, employee master records, like uh, uh, if they are creating flight when the master records like that, they are having that only single transaction code. That is called a business partner, BP. So the transaction code is very simple, it is BP. Okay. And just uh, mentoring here, it is the BP. Okay. So even if you try to enter that XK01 and uh, MK01 and all, the system will go directly to creating the business partner only. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so that is the, the you can see the message here in the down the transaction XK01 is the absolute. Okay, clear? Clear? Yes. Okay. So this is the one which you yes. need to remember that. Then is that any configuration was changed for this uh, the vendor master record and uh, then this uh, this now what we did in the ECC vendor master record and business partner is there any configuration change that means so vendor master level the configuration is same there is no change but additionally you have to do some configurations for the BP so one thing you need to be understand BP and vendor number is different okay so BP and vendor number is different okay so under the BP you are creating that first you are creating you are creating the BP common BP number and under this PP number, you are creating that either vendor number or customer number. That means the system will be allocating based on your external number and internal number. Right? The system will be creating background in the vendor master. Clear? Did you understand the point here? Yes. So what we did in the ECC, the vendor master configuration is same. There is no change. Okay, that is one thing you need to remember that. The other thing is you have to do additionally configuration for the BP that BP is connecting to vendor that synchronization configuration is required. Do you understand? Is it audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it audible? Yes, okay. yes. Can you able to see my screen? Yeah, yep. I can. Okay. So did you understand the point? My point? Yes. Okay, so that means whatever you are doing OMSG. Okay, if you remember that in the vendor master record, we created some vendor account groups, right? Did you remember that vendor master record we are created some vendor account groups? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then vendor account groups and number ranges, all it is the same. Okay. There is no difference here. But additionally, you have to do the configuration for the BP. Additionally, you have to do for the BP and connected that BP number to your vendor number. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, any, any questions on this one? Like we are creating a vendor mm -hmm. and in BP, additional configuration, I mean, the same we, we are creating the vendor, but additional configuration with BP we have to do, right? Yeah, correct. Exactly. So additionally, configuration you have to do for the BP that will be synchronization to our vendor master record. That means initially you are creating BP under this BP, whether you are planning to create a vendor, whether you're planning to create a customer, whether you're planning to do some other things and all, it depends. Okay. So how, how you can differentiate that we'll discuss now. Can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you understand the point, right? Okay. Now let's go to the, the next one. Okay. I'm going to configuration level. So here we are discussing business partner, right? So this business partner configuration will come under the 
cross application component. Hajan, today we just go for the logistical general and material management in DCC. <coughs> but in this case, uh, in Dash 4 HANA, we are going to cross application component for business partner. Okay, because why? Why? Because the business partner is the common object for the, all the modules. Right? Is that correct? Because I said customer master record also can be created based on the BP. I said vendor master record also can be created based on the BP. Employee master record also can be created based on BP. Like that. Right? So it's common object. So in that case, cross application mm -hmm. uh, component will go for in that uh, configuration. Uh, Ravindra. Yeah, please. Yeah, all everything is like business partner only where we are interacting. I mean, huh. So whatever you are creating external master data like customer master card, vendor master card, employee master card, transportation vendor, FI vendors, all these things, you can go with the business partner. Sorry. Work material. Okay. Yes. Clear? Yes. Okay, so now I'll be, I, I went to uh, cross application then in the cross application SAP business partner. Okay, so this is the configuration for the SAP business partner. So here you will be going for a business partner. Here there is a configuration for a business partner. Okay, so you can go to basic settings and you can define that number ranges and you can define the business roles, business partner roles. Okay, all these things you can define here. Clear? Okay, so now let's go with that number ranges. Okay, and grouping, define number ranges here. So here they are defining the number ranges. Here they are defining the number ranges for the business partner, not for the vendor. Okay. The vendor again you already defined in the OMSJ. That means at the vendor account group level, you are already assigned the number ranges, already assigned the uh, group. Okay. But here it is the BP number. So that's what BP number is different. Vendor account number is vendor number is different. Understand? Yes. Understand? Did you understand that? Yep, yep, yeah. Okay. So then here, uh, when you are defining the BP number, okay, so you have that grouping here, okay. So you have to be defining your grouping and you are assigning that number ranges here. Okay. So you want to be go with external number range, internal number range, that you have to be defined here. Okay, so first you will be defining your one grouping name. Okay, so what is the BP grouping? What do you mean by BP grouping? Like group okay. of vendors. If you see that, if you see that in when we are creating the vendor master record, we are giving you that vendor account group, right? Based on the vendor account group, the system is assigning that what number range, external number range or internal number range, right? So here in BP case, it is the BP grouping. Okay, you can define your own uh, case of the BP grouping and you can define. Create, you can differentiate like domestic vent BP and import BP or it may be, you can define how you can understand that BP, you can create that. Business partners for the customers. Okay, like, so the number will be defined based on the BP grouping. <coughs> Clear? Whether again it will be go to external or internal, that is again depends on your number ranges, what you define. Clear? Is it yes. clear? Okay. So this is the first thing you need to be understand here, BP grouping. So when you are creating a BP grouping, so you can go with the, in that uh, top, okay. You can see that there is a BP roles are there, okay and BP grouping are there. So what is the difference between BP role and BP grouping? BP roles and BP grouping, what is the difference? I'll go to uh, transaction code slash for BP. That's, I'll, I'll explain it here, okay? So when you creating here, okay? Either when you creating the first business partner, so whether you are planning to create this business partner as a person. So the person is the business partner, or the organization. The organization is a business partner or it is a group, group of members. It is like, a, you are creating like that. Too, that is a business partner. Okay. So, uh, let's go with organization. Okay. Then if you see that here, 
Okay. If you see here, there is a grouping is there, it is a role it is there. Grouping is there and role it is there. Okay. So I already explained grouping we are using for the number range. It's clear, right? Grouping. Grouping, when you are selecting the grouping, based on that grouping, it will be external numbering, internal numbering, what numbering, it will be defined. Correct? Got you clear, right? Grouping? Come on. Uh, did you have... Is it audible? Yes, you're audible. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my question was, you are clear on the BP grouping? Yes. Okay. Now, what is the BP role? Number range. Oh, okay, BP role. So when you create in the Vendor Master Record, if you remember that, what are the data you're creating? When you're creating the Vendor Master Record, what are the data you're creating? You're creating that company code data, you're creating the purchasing data, you're creating the general data, right? Correct or wrong? Sales data. Vendor Master Record. When you're creating the Vendor Master Record, you are selecting that uh, general data that means address information okay tax information tax number information and uh, gst number information all this information we are entering at the general data and the financial data company code that level like uh, check check bank details bank key and uh, okay how to pay payment modes that will be there in the company code data level then purchasing data level it is like a currency uh, procurement related, all purchasing related, like uh, tolerances, sorry, in court terms, okay, contact person, all these details are there. So that is for the vendor master record creation. So, but in a BP role level, okay, how system knows, under, system understand that you are planning to create the vendor num, vendor master record, you are planning to create the customer master record, or you are planning to create the vendor master record, again, financial data, or you are planning to create the vendor master record purchasing data how system knows about that this bp will be work like that how system knows that that depends on the bp grouping that is sorry bp role sorry bp role okay did you understand about the difference bp role and bp grouping yes bp role is saying that okay what kind of the data you are planning to create BP grouping is saying that, okay, what number range you are planning to use? Got it. Is that clear? Yes. Is that clear? Yes. Any questions here? No. Okay, can I go ahead here? So here, if you see that in the defined BP roles, okay, we have the standard SAP which is provided that FL, FL100, Okay, like they are provided that sum of the standard. Okay, you can see here it is a supplier or master BP role, and this is the again supplier BP role. Okay, with your purchasing data like that, it is they are provided. Okay, so when you plan to create some customer master record, again, customer master record level it is different again. Okay. And if you're planning to create that, uh, it is a corporate channel partner like that, the partner's career or something you are planning to create, that is a different again. So BP roles will give you that, okay, what what kind of the partner you are planning to create, okay? Is that uh, you are planning to create a vendor, you're planning to create that uh, customer, you're planning to create that uh, carrier, are you planning to create like in corporate, corporate uh, partner? So how, how you're planning to do that? So that is a BP role, okay? Clear? So in this case, we are using uh, FLV in double zero, okay, which is for the supplier, okay. So in this supplier data, what information it will be there? It is related to supplier information it will be there. Okay, clear? You can see here FI vendor, okay. And you can go back and FLV and zero one, you can go here also. You can see that this is the supplier standard MM related information. Clear? Did you understand? So you can go to categories here, okay? The vendor and uh, categories which transaction code, what transaction code it is assigned, okay? That transaction goes also, it is there, okay? It is okay, you don't need to be uh, understand this one much. Okay? So you just go to here, 
BP role and BP grouping. So, are you clear now what is the difference between the BP role and BP grouping? These are the two parameters very important. Did you understand what is the difference between the BP grouping and BP role? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah, okay. can you please uh, repeat one more time? Okay. So BP grouping is, okay, it's kind of that what number ranges you are planning to use. Okay. Whether you are planning to use external number range, internal number range, and what, what, even, what is the number series you are planning to use? For that BP role, right? Uh, BP grouping. I'm yes. talking about BP grouping, okay? Yeah, BP, BP grouping BP. is for the number ranges, okay? Number BP. ranges for what? But? Sorry? Number ranges for what? For that BP role, right? There uh, we BP are... role. For BP role. Yes. Okay. And okay, so whatever it may be, so you are using that BP grouping you node. Know, BP number will only be it is the only one number. Okay, again, that one number is the representing the BP. What BP role you are extending, that is the different again. Okay, it's not part of that what BP role you are using, but you are using that BP grouping that is a representing that one BP number it is creating. Okay. Either you are planning to create a vendor number, either you are planning to create a customer number, either you are planning to create an employee number, whatever it may be. Okay. But initially, it is a BP number, it is allocated to your grouping, BP grouping. So, what BP grouping you are using, that is the main thing. Clear? Clear? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So, now BP role. What is the meaning of BP role? So whatever the BP you are creating, what is the role of that BP? You are planning to create the vendor role or you are planning to create a customer role or you are planning to create employee and again, what data you are extending, okay? That is a part of the BP role. That means if I'm creating this BP has a vendor number, okay? This BP has a vendor, okay? Then you can select that the FL, FLV N00. Then the system will understood that, okay, this PP you are planning to create for the vendor master record. Clear? Is it clear? Is it similar to XK01? Ha, XK01 is, yes, that's what. XK01, it will be, now it is linked to XK01. Yes. Once you assign the BP role and planning to create that, then after you are extending that data to purchasing data and the company code data, then okay, based on that, what you selected here, BP role, okay, in this BP role having that some or data is storing that maybe address data or it may be financial data or it may be purchasing data. These are all data will be stored in that role. Okay, clear? Is that clear? Yes. Can I go ahead for Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay, now, now I said already, okay, how the system will understood that you are planning to create a BP, but you are just saying that, you are just saying that, boss, I am planning to create a vendor, but again, which vendor account group you are planning to use? That we didn't discuss, right? Is that correct or wrong? We, we discussed just to like this BP we are using for the vendor. But I didn't say that I am creating domestic vendor, I am creating import vendor, I am creating the uh, service vendor, I am creating that other vendors like career. Right? I didn't say that. Is that clear? Is that correct or wrong? Did I did I, did I discuss that one? No, right? Only vendors we are creating. Yeah, we just uh, creating the vendor. But what kind of vendor you are creating that we didn't discuss. So that means we have to be connect this BP number to, okay, our BP grouping, okay. So let's go with that connectivity.
So here what we need to do, uh, we have to do the synchronization. So this is a business partner we just created. Now I'll be go for the synchronization. For this synchronization, what we have to go, again, we have to go for the cross application component. In this cross application component itself, uh, we have that uh, synchronization. When there and the customer synchronization, it is there. So let's go with that master data synchronization. In this master data synchronization, go to here, the master data synchronization. This is the steps we have to do here. Here we have to do the customer vendor integration. In this customer vendor integration, you have to see there is a steps are there. Okay, here we have to be set the your business partner. So you can see here. So your BP role category to BP vendor. So the direction we are giving here. Okay. So you are you have this FLVN double zero, FLVN N zero one. So this is the which I said. So in case of you are creating your own style of the customization, you can create. That's fine. Okay. You can create your own BP role. Then what you will do? You are assigning this BP role to your grouping. So I'll just open the Word document. I'll go minimize this one. There is no, uh, there is no word document. Okay. Okay. See now, BP grouping is done, and BP role is done. Okay. Now. We are synchronizing BP to our vendor account group. So I clearly say that vendor account group is different and the BP uh, related is different. Correct? Is that correct? So Hajan today, Hajan now we discussed about the BP creation. So this is a completely related to BP. This is a, these two steps will be represented to BP. Okay, what kind of data you are planning to create? But now I am connecting my BP role. I am connecting my BP role to my vendor account group. Okay, so that means if I if I have FLV FLV N double zero, which is there. Okay, this I can uh, connect it to that. Okay, what uh, what vendor account group you are planning to assign? Okay, that means if suppose I have that some JVN vendor account group or something like triple zero one is my vendor account group. So, triple zero one is a vendor account group. That is for like let, let's assume that this is the domestic vendor account group. This is, is like, we are giving it. We are giving this number. We are assigning the group. We are assigning the group. It's not number. It is the group. Do you know that? Uh, okay, I'll just go again back to OMSG. OMSG. So this is the vendor account group. Do you remember that we created good supplier, alternative pay, invoice presented, vendor, main vendor, domestic vendor, import vendors, account groups, these are all. If you go inside that, you, you can see that, okay, general data, company code data, purchasing data, vendor sub branch, plant relevant, partner functions, one-time vendor. Did you do practice or not on this one? On vendor creation, uh, did once or twice. Hmm. But again, you forgot. So what are the parameters we are using for vendor account group? What, what is the account group controls? Vendor account group controls. Vendor account, while creating vendor, uh, we are selecting, we are giving that vendor name hmm. and uh, plant. Mm -hmm. For each plant, we are creating it, mm -hmm. and they're just uh, purchasing group, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and then we enter and then we give uh, all the details in basic data then we enter if we want to assign that so schema i'll just open i will just open that uh, i'll go for the this is a system I can come out, sign out. Uh, with, uh, some more option it will there, right? Okay. Okay. So, so I'll go to SCP screen, ECC screen. Okay. So I'll show you what it does. If I go to XK01, first of all, you are giving, you are saying whatever it is wrong. Okay. When you're creating the vendor master card, you are entering the company code data and purchasing organization, then a Account group, vendor account group. This is saying that domestic vendor, import vendor, or it is just saying what is the vendor actually. Did you remember that we are created in OMSJ? Yes. Uh, OMSJ and OMSJ. But remember that account group is not mandatory, you know. Without account group, also we are able to. Oh. Just... Without vendor account group, how system knows that what kind of what type of vendor you are creating? How material type is very important to material master record. The same way vendor account group also it's very important to vendor master record. Without material type and group, we cannot generate material. Hmm. How? How you can generate material? How you can generate vendor? That means you are not doing practice. So initially I just given a guidance like that. See, the first day if you are creating material master record. And the second day, when you were creating the vendor master record, okay, if suppose you are doing practice on vendor master record, second day. So you need to do vendor master record and material master record, both you have to do at a time on the same day practicing. On next day, if you are doing purchasing info card, you have to do vendor master record, material master record, purchase info card. So this is the way you have to do because you cannot remember the, all the screens. When you do the practicing, keep on every day 10 times, then only you can remember the screen. This is the basic things metal master and the vendor master card, metal type and vendor account group. So, when you will do the practice, all these things. So if you not understand the vendor account group, then there is no use of the business partner to understand. This is a link to business partner. It is your responsibility, Nita. You are Sila and you both. It is your responsibility. Okay. You are learning for the your career. It's not for me. So please do the uh, practice every day. Yes. Spend more time. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 Ravindra. Okay. Uh, necessarily, there is no use of that. Okay. If you are not doing practice and if you not remember that what you did uh, earlier, then there is no use for that. If you remember. Okay, so I'll uh, this is the uh, link for the main BP role and the vendor account group. Okay, based on that, so the system when you creating the BP by using this BP role, this BP role is connected to this group. So the system will check that what number range it is assigned to this group and what number range it is assigned for this group. Okay, so if it is the same number, okay. Uh, if you want, if you want to go for the same number for the vendor account number and uh, PP number, then you can use the same number, okay? Same number and interval. If you are not want, if you don't want to be used the same number and if you want to be different different number and just also you can use that, okay? Okay, so that is the one main integration here, the, the setup here, okay? The inter vendor integration setup it is here. Again, if the customer side, they will do this customer configuration, okay? So do practice, okay? Do practice uh, when I must record and do practice for that. Then I will explain this again tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow come back with that vendor account group and vendor must record, okay? Just do practice and come back with me. Then we'll practice on this one, 
okay because if you not understand what is the vendor account group then there is no use of to explaining the bp also clear is it clear yep okay so please come back okay so please do practice for vendor account groups okay come back so tomorrow we'll discuss again for this bp role and bp categories okay so i'll just give you on top of that okay so when you creating the bp when you creating the bp so you are creating has a person or organization or group so it is indicating that okay a single person you are creating one if you have that one person one to one person service like if suppose uh, there is one painter is there he the one single person so i can consider this is the one person so i can create business partner if there is organization like uh, there is a credit services are there or urban services are there so that is the one organization so then i can consider that organization or there are so many group of people they are working as a team so then consider that group name and you can put it that okay so you're creating that business partner as a group then are you assigning selecting that to what uh, uh, number range you are planning to create or that number range external number range internal number range that number range grouping you are creating here then you are assigning that to which business partner you are planning to create like fi vendor or um, or uh, mm vendor you are planning to extend that what you are planning to create that you are assigning here after you are selecting that if suppose i'm selecting that fmm integration suppose i'm just selecting that uh, vendor which is like i'll go for fi vendor or something which i'm going that okay now okay once first you are creating the bp number then you start assigning that okay you start uh, assigning to extending to the purchasing data and communicate data okay start assigning to the communicate and purchasing mode purchasing mode data once you created this pp okay in this case what you have to go you have to enter that you are a purchasing organization and you have to enter that you are a, a communicate data on the other. so that is the overview so i will discuss tomorrow for this one okay but uh, let's go with first understand the vendor account group from ecc to practice for that and let me know then i will be continue for the bp yes is that, is that okay yes, because I'm, yes. I'm just blindly going with that also you have again tomorrow will come and uh, i i'm not understanding what what he's saying there mm, we'll, we'll do that yeah, yeah no that's yeah that's good idea okay so first you do that ecc complete the ecc okay then we'll start as for now yes. okay. yeah clear so yeah. the main topics major topics which is like uh, pricing procedure output determination okay and uh, uh, automatic account determination okay this material master material type creations and the vendor account groups these are the basics okay for mm batch management these are the basic things okay so please at least to go with that uh, uh, deeply do the practice more okay yeah yes okay just let me know once you complete the practice okay i'll just go for the next step okay yes.